Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Paul. And, and this, this is, is The Truth, Truth About. Confusion feels seeds out. It's time to hear the truth about. Confusion feels seeds out. It's time to hear the truth about. Happiness. Yeah, so I thought this would be quite an interesting one for this week, Laura, which would be about happiness. That is a broad topic because what is happiness? But this is the thing. It's actually quite a confusing thing, isn't it? Because wouldn't you say that's, well, I don't know. I think everyone wants happiness, but I don't think many people actually search for it. Do you? I think it is quite... You see, it's already becoming a difficult conversation. Uh, I I think it's quite relative, isn't it? It's like, will it make you happy to have loads of money, to be famous? Or would it be, does it make you happy to, you know, have friends and family around with you all the time? And, you know, it is a personal, very personal thing. Um, As you and I have recently been working out uh happiness can come from anywhere um do you want to yeah yeah this I mean, one? yeah i mean this is this is this is my kind of thing of like just spending so long of going right okay i want to be happy you know what i mean so at the start of my life i guess or start of my life you know my early life or whatever i just like right it'll be so good if i could make a living out of playing guitar every yeah. single day and then i got to a point where i achieved that and then i was like i'm not any more happier doing this but I thought I would be yeah and I think that's kind of like the fame thing uh, to some extent you know what I mean like you always hear of unhappy celebrities or yeah. you know like uh, substance abuse and all, all this different stuff but it's like it doesn't make you happier but then everyone is like trolling in the comments saying oh god boo hoo hoo I wish I had a Rolls Royce to cry I, about I, I think that's the thing it's, <laughs> it's like the the search for happiness is actually better than when you've actually achieved the goal that you believe would bring you that yeah. happiness mm. and it is all about a journey um but a- again it's it's like you could happily say happily you can, <laughs> can happily say you know i these are my goals for this year yeah but sometimes it's harder to achieve them than y- well, just just thinking about it, you could say, okay, it's my goal to, I don't know, get X amount of followers. Yeah. And once you're there, you want more. Of course. You, you don't want 250,000 followers. Greed. And more. Coming, coming soon. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, it's more just about setting yourselves targets, isn't it? And so... Well, well, yeah, this is the whole thing. So, like, looking at... Um, I read another book, Laura. So, um, yeah, uh, within this book uh, about happiness and all that kind of stuff, it was uh, saying how the Western philosophies were obviously different from the Eastern philosophies. Yeah. So, so essentially, you know, like you think about the Buddhist monks and obviously Buddhists and stuff, they believe in living for the moment and, and the present, you know, and, and, and obviously all, all that stuff that we know about, you know, and, and things like that. Whereas like Westerners, uh, we're more thinking like, well, if I get that new job, I'm going to be happy. If if that person stays with me, I'm going to be happy. You know what I mean? Or yeah. if that person never leaves me, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be so sad. Which is like, even like, you know, when a relationship does fail and things like that, you do feel that, don't you? you yeah, know what I mean? like, a short term. And then you actually realise perhaps I'm, I'm happier. way more happier. Yeah, um, like this is way better. And I can now do whatever I want to do. It's the same as when uh, I got that job in London. Yeah. I always wanted a job in London. Totally. Going up to London the first few weeks, I was like, yeah, this is great. Amazing. And then it just hit me and I was just like, this is so depressing. Yeah. And it wasn't, I mean, it partly was the job, it was the commute, but I think it was just feeling as if I'd made it. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I don't <laughs> want this anymore. What do I want now? And it kind of, that can kind of put you in this place of what would make me happy? You start wondering. And, and you know, we, we did our travelling um, not long after that. Yeah. Not long after I I left um, left working in London. And even whilst we were travelling, some of the places we were just like, I'm not happy here. No. And we weren't exactly happy which is, working from anywhere which, either. Which, yeah, but that was the stupid thing, though, because now, I mean, especially like, obviously, um, 
when life prevails and you don't travel as much, you know, you get family, all that kind of stuff, you think, God, actually, the places that we didn't enjoy that much when we were there, yeah. we look back on really fondly of like, oh my God, that place is actually really cool because there was this, there was that. But but the problem was when we were traveling, we went to so many awesome places which had so much stuff. But and by the time it, you went to somewhere else, it was relative, sorry. wasn't it? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I, I think, again, we're saying about living in the moment. Mm. I mean, I, I had a blog all about living for, for, the for, the, for the now and I actually realized how hard that was to do yeah and a lot of things I was ended up writing about were things from my past or things I hoped for the future <laughs> and that is ironic. It, it is exactly how we are uh as westerners perhaps yeah. um that we've got fond memories and we romanticise things a lot as well. And we think about things and go, oh, it was so lovely there. And really, at the time, you probably didn't appreciate it as much. And that's the funny thing about happiness is that it can creep up on you a lot later yeah. than when you were actually in that moment. It's the same with planning for the future. Yeah. Uh, we've had it before discussing, you know, e- expanding the family yeah, and yeah. going, actually, would that make us any happier? No. And I've got in my head, well, oh, I'd love to have a little baby again. And the truth is I probably wouldn't. No. Um, and that that's just down to the fact that I've got in my head a memory that yeah. was so sweet but then I've just pushed to the back of my mind the unhappy moments. But that's that's the thing, isn't it? Is that expectation versus reality? For I mean sure. I mean the whole thing, like you think I was like eighteen in Abbey Road Studios. That was like my dream since I was twelve, recording on you know, recording guitar, making money from, you know, what what I wanted to do, you know, my whole life from twelve, which is kind of ironic, isn't it? Like twelve to eighteen is not really your whole life, is it? But no. you know, that was the whole thing. And actually going I don't even know if this was as good as I wanted it to be. You know, like, actually, I don't know. You know, like, it, it's, it's strange, but but that's the whole thing. But, yeah, like, I, I read another thing uh, only recently, um, like, uh, just, just, just within a book of, about other stuff. Um, but it was saying, like, you know, within war, we're actually... There's actually a lot less depression. I mean, actually, like... Um, the the, the, the the rate of depression is something like 50% less than when people are not actually in war. I mean, that's nuts. Don't you think that's totally crazy? I think it could be a big part of the thing as well, like you're too busy to yeah. focus on your own like mental suffering because yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got other things yeah. to, to think about. And also, I can't remember what we watched the other day. Oh, it was the documentary about Anne Frank on Netflix. Yeah. And... They were talking about all of their happy memories. Well, that's the thing as well, because that's what I was saying to you, wasn't I? I was like, within this book, it basically was saying that as well. Like, yeah. Um, uh, you know, for example, me talking to my nan, like she, she had a, a rubbish time. You know, she, yeah. she, she lived through World War II. Um, she was an evacuee, you know, all, all this kind of stuff. And uh, but she still looks at it as as like fond memories, you know what I mean? Being separated from her family, going out living in the country countryside or whatever, you know, wondering if they're going to get bombed or not, watching the, um, you know, the the, the 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 bombers going over and all that kind of stuff. But it's like she's got such fond memories of it. And this is what I think regarding when I say pushing the bad memories to the mm. back of your mind. Yeah, is it a natural thing for us to focus on the good and go? Actually, it wasn't that bad. It's like I could say in my head, childbirth wasn't that bad and yeah. you look at me going well I, I remember it girl. differently <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know it's a completely different yeah, that, yeah. thing and because you just want to focus on the good yeah um as opposed to the bad and I, I think that is it's a lovely thing about human nature as well mm. I think if we always or everybody was a bit like oh no well, no that was pretty rubbish yeah um as opposed to going no, that was nice. If you think about the nice things, weigh the pros and cons. Mm. Same as some of the cities we went to when we got there, we were like, oh, we don't feel that safe here. No. And, or, oh, we don't have enough money to enjoy it. And then yeah. you actually think about the, the free moments we had and the moments where we did feel safe and comfortable and happy. Well, that's, that's it as well, though, isn't it? Because, like, any memory that we kind of look at from our travelling and all that kind of stuff isn't really one that we've spent loads of money on. Usually, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's mostly like, oh, do you remember that time oh, we went that. out? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but seriously, it's like, yeah. oh, do you remember that time we went out with that person? Yeah. Or, or, or do you remember that crazy guy we met? 
You know what I mean? And, yeah. and we went on the crazy bike tour, you know, or, or whatever. Yeah. It really comes down to like people, really, and experience. Like that's the kind of thing. But okay, so I, I was kind of, um, you know, to kind of take it somewhere else. I was kind of thinking, what, you know, we've searched for this. We've been lucky enough to have time to search for happiness and all this crazy stuff. But it's like, so what genuinely makes us happy? What genuinely makes you happy? I was about to ask you the same thing. That's good. Because we're, do- we're doing this completely. There's no rehearsals or no, anything no, no. With, with these we podcasts. We don't do that so anyway. No. H- hence probably some of the stuttering in between and going, <laughs> um. But what makes us happy? So I'm. I think we should do five things each. Okay. Five things that genuinely make you happy. Yeah. So I, I, do you want to go first? You do one and then I do one? Yeah, okay. Oh, we may agree on yeah, a few. Yeah, It sounds really boring, but it's like exercise genuinely makes me happy. It's it's how, how I define happiness is one of those things that even if I don't even want to do it, but I do it and I... I can't really feel sad after it you know yeah. what i mean so it's like exercise is like that for me something you won't regret yeah like i i don't really want to exercise you know what i mean i mm. I, I it's not the things i want to wake up and go cool i really want to exercise today but it's like it's one of those things that yep yeah, i'm going to lift some weights or i'm just going to do whatever a yeah. little bit more than what i would have done not doing it mm. but it's like because of the scientifics the endorphins the you know testosterone whatever yeah you know those chemicals that are going on in your brain that's one of those things that just genuinely makes me happy yeah even, even if if i'm angry if i'm whatever and i work out i'm always going to be happy so that's one of the things that just is you know what i mean yeah. so, so, so i quite like that go on and what, what what about you um, well, I was able to make a list of a hundred things the other day, so yeah, we, we, <laughs> we that, both made we? a list of a hundred yeah. things. But for me, it's more like a situation. So perhaps yeah. it's being up before everybody else in the house, yeah. going downstairs, having a cup of coffee, and watching the sunrise mm. over the horizon because we live by the sea. And we can see the sun come up over the sea and it's so lovely. And it's just that moment of peace and Mm. going... The present moment. Yeah, exactly. And just feeling lucky. Mm. Um, So that that makes me happy. It doesn't go into much detail as you do, but... (laughs) No, 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 but that's a good one. Uh, A bit controversial, but obviously I was... Um, well we both were kind you more on and off than me but you know vegetarian for like five years or whatever and then vegan for like nearly a year kind of thing but it's like it's so bad as it is because I was so preachy with the veganism and all this kind of stuff but the truth is like food is such a major thing for me and it's like I, I, I feel like I like denied myself of it for like five years and stuff so now that I am eating, you know, whatever I want and, 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 you know, it's mostly healthy and stuff, but just the freedom of like cooking stuff and things like that, like that actually generally makes yeah, me really happy. Yeah, food and happy. cooking are a big thing for you. It just makes me so happy. And, uh, and even, the, even and though it's wrong. Me. It's wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's the thing. And but, there's a lot of hypocrisy because we were going around telling people, you know, mm. this is why, this is why we're vegan. Yeah, this is exactly. why you should be vegan. Yeah. And the, the, I guess the point of this episode was because I sat down and said to you, you know what? What makes you happy? I'm Yeah, I'm not exactly happy. I'm not no. sure why. We yeah. need to sit down and focus on what makes us happy. Yeah. And I said to you, look, I think I just want to do whatever I want to do. Yeah. I don't want to restrict myself anymore. Yeah. And so f- for me, um, my number two happy thing is freedom. Yeah. Um, and choice. Yeah, exactly. I like I like just having the choice in front of me I guess that's why I like going to restaurants and yeah. things like that and that sort of excitement of oh I can do this you yeah, know yeah, and, yeah. and th- that's I think something that we've probably taken for granted from you know the lockdown and, and the excitement of you know we might be able to be let out soon yeah. um, and obviously we are but we're still being very careful but it's that excitement of going cool I can go out and have a coffee now. I don't yeah. just have to stay inside all day. Well, and 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 okay, kind of similar to war. Obviously, it's a pandemic, you know, and and there's yeah. certain restrictions and things like that. And I think that's the thing. Like we probably will. Well, we already do look at it fondly. Even yeah. though obviously, there's been mass amounts of deaths and things like that. All this 
the the horrific things of it but it's like it has actually made you more aware of the things that genuinely make you happy it makes you appreciate the little things a lot more because if i bought a million pound uh you know whatever bentley bentley continental and had it on the on the front yard or whatever it wouldn't mean anything would it because i couldn't do anything with it no and 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 that's the whole happiness isn't really based upon that no it's not about material things people but this is the thing though because okay kind of probably me 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 again but it's like i love shopping though yeah and i I love shopping so so would you say that's your number three things that make you happy totally like i i love it you know what i mean like i think it's the again is the experience of the shopping and not hmm. necessarily the item itself as i say looking at your what eight guitars and (laughs) you know (laughs) yeah 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 but yeah but this is the thing i don't care if i'm buying something for someone else or if i'm buying it for myself just the whole I mean, even in uh, the Elton John. Yeah, I was going to say you're the new Elton John. No, no, well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> but, but but yeah, but with, with, with yeah, but I love that within that book. You know, of Elton John, he goes through obviously all of um, the rehab and things like that, and, and they're basically telling him that obviously he's buying mass amounts of stuff to fill a void, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But it's like he's like, it's not though. You know what I mean? I, I, he just genuinely but likes even, buying. Stuff. I, I mean, even if it was. It's not exactly the unhealthiest thing you can well, do. This is the as thing long as long well. as you can afford it exactly. and not getting yourself into dangerous amounts of debt, of then course. it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, I think my number three would be Christmas. Christmas um, is good. Because Presents, right? <laughs> that's what you've been teaching our daughter <laughs> yeah she, we say what well, what's the best thing about christmas Amy? she goes presents and she doesn't even really understand christmas fully yet but that's what she thinks it's about she's obsessed with presents now but i i think i i i mean i've always loved christmas yeah. i didn't have the best christmases growing up but there's still this sort of excitement aura yeah, and I love the magic of it. People being happy. I understand that Hopefully, there's. I, well, yeah, that's the problem. I, I do isn't understand it? that there's a lot of people that don't enjoy Christmas, no. that find it a very difficult time, and I completely understand that. That's but, a sad part of, about it as well. And isn't I, it? I guess that's, that was the thing for me. I, I could easily go. Christmas was an awful time for me growing yeah. up, yeah, yeah, but yeah. now I just want to make it as magical and special as possible. Yeah, I, exactly. As soon as December first hits, I've got that tree up. I'm planning my Christmas shopping list. You know, we start watching Christmas movies. Yeah. You know, we we make our Christmas Marks and Spencers tea, <laughs> and fruit tea, and <laughs> you know, start eating mold wine. Yeah, oh, mold Gingerbread. wine. See, I love all of that. I love the <laughs> smells of it. I love the cinnamon. atmosphere. Just cinnamon. Cinnamon. Oh, yeah. Have fairy lights. Yeah. See, all of those little things yeah. bring me so much joy. And I could, I could personally live without the presents. I couldn't live without the food. No. I don't know how we did Christmas as vegan last year. No. And I know that there's plenty of people that love their vegan Christmas food. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I'm but, looking forward to, to pigs and blankets. Yeah, 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 but yeah, but that's the thing as well, isn't it? Like, and and that's what I've learned. More than anything, obviously, I always joke about is always been Paul reading a book and all this kind of stuff. But it's like, I I, I have this thing of I want to try everything. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I I don't want to go from this earth into the next universe or whatever without having at least tried everything. Say, well, you know what? I tried skiing once and I didn't like it. Or, you know, um, ice skating, you know, whatever. I just want to try everything. And that's the whole thing with the happiness as well. Mm. I think the hardest thing in today's world is we're always trying to... I always got to sing of like, you know, we've been bought and sold someone else's dreams. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, it'd be good if I had 10,000 followers or whatever. It's like, I think well, that's, that's also the thing. thing about meeting your hero. They always say, never meet your hero yeah. because the expectation versus reality. They're and a it, normal person. Exactly. And, you know, I, I've met some of the people that I've, you know, loved from the age of 13 mm. and seen them in person and go, wow, they're just the person. Yeah, strange, And there is that feeling of excitement and you don't want to blow the opportunity. But at the same time, you walk away and you're like, did that make me happy or did that just make me feel like a bit of an idiot? Or you want more. Exactly. I'm just like, like, oh, I can't just meet them. I now need to, you know, go on a date with them and, you know, have babies. (laughs) Well, maybe. Um, (laughs) No, but yeah, that's I, I always have a problem with that. It's like, even like, I meet someone in a professional context or or whatever. It's like I really wish I could just be friends with you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I really wish I could just. You say email that a you. lot about Lana Del Rey, don't yeah, you? Yeah, totally. Like it, it would yeah. never be a relationship. I don't want to meet her, but like I I, I want to be friends. Yeah, like, you like, just want to hang wanna out have, with her. I want to have a normal conversation just about what kind of music you're into. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's that's that's. 
oh, come on. I mean, really, my number one is music. You know what I mean? So it's a number four, let's just say music, yeah. but really that's my number one because that's the whole thing. That's that's what I live for. You yeah. know what I mean? More than anything in the world. Like I could be in the rubbish mood, play the right song and then that's yeah, it. Yeah, that is exactly how I... I when you, ever you've like had to go to the shop or something and yeah. I, you're just like I'm just going to the shop yeah. again to buy stuff because buying me buying <laughs> makes things me makes you happy, happy. <laughs> yeah. but I, I mean sometimes he'll go off and I'll just hear the car blaring music That's it. on the way back and then there's about nine carrier bags That's full it. of chocolates champagne flowers <laughs> and I'm like he's cheered up exactly. he's gone shopping he's listened totally. to his music yeah. and then I'll go how much did you spend and then I'm not so happy <laughs> but um, I think we should have a little break before I do my number four okay and uh yeah we'll be back in a moment be sure to check out our truth about blog at truthabout.co.uk and we're back we are so we were just talking about our uh, five things that make us happy um I did mention that we had written down a list of 100 things and it gets a little harder towards the end because you start off and you, you're generalising. Well, that, yeah, do, do you remember that? Because that was the thing I was saying to you because like, obviously you said to me, like, yeah. write down 100 things because well, this is the other thing as well for anyone listening. This is quite a good thing. If, if you're feeling down um, or, or, or whatever you're going through, um, like a, a psychological thing to do is actually just write down things you're actually grateful for, things that you're yeah. happy for, and it will actually take you out, uh, hopefully. You know what I mean? It'll just make you think about the, the positives, you know what I mean, and things like that. So that is that is a good little uh, good little exercise, really. So that's, that's a good one. But yeah. yeah, that's what we did, didn't we? Yeah, and um, one of the things... Uh, on the list was traveling and yeah. obviously there's certain places that you want to go to yeah. that isn't my number four by the way but oh, okay, <laughs> if you okay, if you okay. do want to split up your your list a bit more just to bulk it out then do that but <laughs> Each place. Oh, traveling does make me happy but i think home makes me happy um just being in my my space and it being clean. Cleaning this... our house makes me feel so happy. <laughs> that's so strange, isn't it? I mean, yeah, but and that's another big point, isn't it? Like the things that make other people happy, like it, usually that, I mean, I've, I've done that a lot, haven't I? You know what I mean? Where mm. I've like totally bought in someone else's dreams. Yeah. And then I've just been like, ah, oh, well, I've kind of gone really far into this, but it's not really actually making me any happier. No, no, like no matter how much money you've put on it, yeah. no matter how much you've done, you've gone... That's really annoying because, you know, that's meant to make you happy. And that, that was the thing, because I I have always been, well, uh, into cleaning. Um, <laughs> as ever since getting our home, we had it all fresh lick of paint, everything, new plaster, everything, because it was so old. And we, I was so obsessed with keeping it clean, I, to the point where it was bad like i would get very very upset if the dogs brought in mud which they did um yeah, as we shepherds. mentioned on the uh german shepherds episode <laughs> <laughs> but now i'm a lot more relaxed with it yeah and i just feel like it's home even with the grubbiness and things like that but i do like a day like i had today where i just hoover i clean i've got my music in i've got a cup of coffee on the go and i'm going around cleaning and i'm going this is my house yeah. There might be, there might still be dust and crayon marks on the walls. Mm. You know, Ava's handprints from where she's been finger painting. But for me, <laughs> that that is that sense of home mm. and family, yeah. and I can live with that. Um, whereas I think when I was following um, an influencer, I, I, I don't want to mention no, no, no. their name, but I was following an influencer, and she had become pretty famous based on her tips yeah. on cleaning and houses you said tips and right tips tips okay, yeah, t-i-p-s yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh make sure i spell it right then <laughs> and i i started buying into everything that she was doing i was trying to buy all of their cleaning products it's so and, easy to do i mean obviously I not obviously not for me in cleaning but yeah <laughs> I, I i've made so many purchases I, by yeah, going, this person is, said that or, because you think it's yeah. gonna make my life easier that's it's gonna make me it. happier that's how they do it i ended up in b&m spending what 
60 quid a week yeah. and that's a lot for B&M on just cleaning products and I remember you going this Laura is a, this is a little the excessive the house is poison you just got yeah. all these and I was like but I need it clean I need it clean yeah. and I realised actually following her and watching her stories was making me feel so anxious about my house not being clean and for someone who does I'm um, um, have obsessive compulsive disorder um or any sort of anxiety to do with cleanliness it sometimes you just need to cut away from people that promote that um well, that's yeah that that's an important one as well yeah and and, and probably kind of going off the five things but I, I think that's a really important thing as well where it was the same thing where i was following all this stuff on yeah uh you know instagram and things like that and actually just got to this point of going I need to, you need to focus on stuff that genuinely makes you happy. Exactly, you know exactly. What I mean? And I felt like people could, can complain about social media. And mm. It's like, it is so good if you're following and looking at the right stuff. Yeah, totally. Um, oh, but yeah, but this, this is my thing. Yeah. Totally. Like, I, I love following um, architecture. Yeah. Like, that, that, that makes me happy. You like all the history stuff, the oh, amount I love of history. forwarded posts I get in oh, my, my inbox. God. I'm like, oh, I'm popular. Yeah. Is this Paul sending me, I don't know ruins of some place or a titanic article I and love that. it's like, very it's adventure. very interesting it's yeah. just the adventure of it yeah but, but yeah like I, I love that a lot but yeah like that's a lot of stuff that i follow on on instagram and stuff just like travel places and, mm. and things like that I'm, I'm not so much into obviously people promoting you know hey i'm here or, or yeah. there or whatever that's that doesn't interest me but like the actual wow you know that is a beautiful infinity pool or like the design of it and things like that because i think it can like social media can make you unhappy if you're not following it right totally. and you can it's, be swayed into buying it's, it's things the, you don't need it's design and purpose i know and i think that's that's why i'm very careful with how i use it because it well, that's can, coming up next week yeah <laughs> that, <laughs> that can genuinely make you unhappy yeah. um so give me num- another one you've done cleaning come on you've got a number five to do first God, number, see this is the hard thing isn't you it? wrote a hundred things down we should go get in the notebook no no like i, I, I totally get it be like wow so five you know what i mean <laughs> like obviously music's really important yeah yeah like well do you want me to go it's hard because i because i want to say like playing guitar or like yeah I, to be honest I, I would say that you know actually playing guitar being creative you yeah. know what i mean like just having a whether it even be design something or you know what i mean do some graphic design or something yeah and or you're whatever. doing your websites I and stuff that. like that but yeah like the art of building stuff is really important oh, whether it's God, like yeah you know, you. I, I I just no, but honestly, you, you have some kind of satisfaction. Obviously, all these books I've read and all that kind of stuff, but it's like that is genuinely like there, there was there was a part within it which was like if you go to a party and someone says, "Look, I've handmade this jewelry box and that's what I do," you're naturally going to be impressed with that. Even if you if you're not into jewelry, <laughs> you don't like wood, you know what I mean? You, you you're going to be impressed that someone's actually created this yeah made the piece effort. of art. You know what I mean? Or, or if someone goes, "Oh, look, I actually." You know, specialise in taking photos of I mean, droplets I, on leaves. I get the same with, as we were talking about, we were watching um, Alicia Keys and Billie Eilish oh. and I was just going, oh my God, I want to cry because talent just genuinely, like just talented it people. It doesn't even, like, yeah, and, and yeah, like, sorry, keep butting in, but, but <laughs> no, no, but I'm, used to it. I'm so excited about that. I've been to so many concerts that I really wanted to go to. Yeah. So many. I'm not going to name them, but you know what I mean? I've been to so many concerts where I've been like, I can't wait wait to see this person i can't wait to see this band i've been waiting like my whole life to see them i'll go to it and then just be so disappointed yeah not not that they weren't good not that the atmosphere wasn't good but it's just like it you just wasn't get what that i wanted it yeah. to be but then again I'll, I'll go and watch some cheesy pop thing or or, or something that it, in which i don't want to go to but i bought a ticket for it because i'm that way it was the same when um busted made their comeback and I was a big, big busted fan when I was growing up. And Paul had taken me and my sister. Um, Paul just bought a ticket in the audience somewhere, yeah. I think. And uh, yeah, I think he was standing. Yeah. And um, you said that there, at one point there was a bit that you just got emotional. And totally. it, it was the same when we watched um, back the Royal Albert Hall show with McFly for yeah. their 10th anniversary, yeah. which is a long time ago now. Yeah. And it's just like that emotion of... So many people in a room, 
like oh, singing totally. the song it might be the cheesiest song it might just be you know it, it doesn't matter it's that atmosphere of people coming together and being so happy man. together like man there's like, no feeling like it like taylor swift katie perry yeah you know, all these stuff that you're you know as a as a as a guy you know like it's one of those things like but man, i love all that the huge shows like the weekend was one of the best concerts oh, i've ever yeah. been to yeah that was just ridiculous you know what i mean and like you know um yeah, yeah again I love music, music you yeah, love yeah, yeah, music yeah. don't yeah, you and yeah. live performances they're totally. things that genuinely make you happy yeah yeah go on and, what's your number five oh you know, Come I'm, on. I'm gonna be typical here no, don't be cleaning again no 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 <laughs> although this isn't very good for feminism <laughs> no it isn't ava okay just Ava makes me happy. See, I'm bad that I miss it out now, aren't I? <laughs> You're a bad dad. <laughs> no, because I no, think I that, I, as I've, I've said to you in that the past... That should just be like, a given, though, shouldn't she, it? Well, yeah, but mm-hmm. I think because she has been a part of me, like, day one, you know, yeah. as soon as I, even before I knew um, I was going to be a mum... I was a mum, you know, and yeah. my body was started telling me that. And, mm. you know, I carried around this tiny human mm. um, inside me for nine months. Mm. And then I had to go through a horrible labour and, you know, having to deal with the first few months of being a parent and dealing with all of that whilst still in physical pain. Yeah. You, you just, you feel like you fought for something. And when you see that small person growing up, and she starts saying things which just make you laugh, even if no one else finds them funny. Yeah. She just kills me with laughter with some of the stuff she does. And, yeah, I, I miss her when she's not here. Yeah, 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 And she is just a genuine joy yeah. that I will never regret her, you know? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. She, does, she does genuinely make me happy, and she is just so hilarious, and she's so headstrong. Yeah. Um, at the same time, she can be a right pain in the backside. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I will never not feel happiness when I'm with her. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's, no, that's just... A, yeah, obviously, that's that's a good one, you know? Like, that's good. But what what what, what do you want someone to take away from this episode? I, that, I, th- I think, obviously, that's not our aim here or, or whatever, but it's like, you know, what... What should someone take away from this episode? I think that happiness happiness can like happiness can't be you know created. It no. ha- it, it, it has to be natural. Yeah. Um come from within. Yeah. And you have to just let it happen. Yeah. It's one of those things that I I don't think that you and I have been happier. No. Um, than we have been these past few weeks. And yeah. it's simply from being honest with ourselves. Yeah. Um, being honest with each other. Mm. And for me, that's how relationships work as well. well yeah, um, that, yeah that, that's, that's a big thing. Like, um, it's, 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 I say it's stupid, but it's, it's hard because like, I'd say it's kind of similar to the, the fame thing to some extent, but it's like the life in which we've lived or especially like the life in which I've lived at certain times, you're like, it's hard to relate to anyone with that. You know what I mean? Like that's so hard to say, you know, I know if someone says, oh, I would love to one day go to New York or whatever. You're like, well, I've been to New York so many times and it's beautiful and I love it and you really want to get excited about it. But for so long, I've actually not, bothered doing that because no. I didn't want to I wanted to not seem like a egomaniac yeah yeah <laughs> or, or like you're showing off you know what I mean because and, and that's the thing I but think now it, it's changed though hasn't it I because think it should like, well, it look, should be I, like I want to be excited about that and if it gets that person excited about it then let's do it well this is the thing we, we've had a few friends that have said oh we're gonna go here or we're thinking about going here yeah. and you and I have been like do it and you've got to do this you've got to do yeah, that exactly. and okay they might not want the advice of what rides to go on at Disney World or the I best places to say but <laughs> Well, you don't like advice anyway, <laughs> which is quite funny. This is why we're delivering advice. <laughs> the but irony. Yeah. It, it makes us happy talking about things that we can share and you feel like you're sharing it with other people, yeah. especially people that also in or have been to places or do enjoy the same things as you. Yeah. Sharing moments of happiness as well. I, I think that's why it's important with things like music, uh, Christmas, yeah. and the things that we love. Yeah are things that actually you share a lot of that with other people and it brings joy to others and that just naturally 
gives you a, a sense of happiness too. Okay, okay, okay. Finish off with the happiest day of your life or the happiest experience or, 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 or you know, whatever memory. that. This the is really annoying because you know I have like a top five. Yeah, but and... don't, don't. I, I just want the first thing that comes to your mind when I say what is the happiest day? <laughs> and, and and this isn't an ego thing. I don't want it to be anything to do with me. No, honestly, I don't want it to be any. I, I, don't be boring and say marriage because no, that's boring. No, I'm, I'm going to pick. That's not, that's not a happy day. That's stressful. Yeah, it was stressful. Exactly. And I think that's why I would pick the day we went to Walt Disney World. Totally. My first day, for, yeah. like full day, waking up at Disney World. Yeah. And the reason why I didn't pick the day Ava was born or, that when, was we got, or when we got engaged or yeah. when we got married is because yeah. there were a lot of other emotions that at the time were taking over. Yeah, exactly. Um, the engagement was more confusion and shock yeah. as well as happiness. Yeah. Um, d- with Ava, it was worry, panic, tiredness. pain, tiredness, and just thinking... Oh my god, what have I done? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a shock. Although uh, having her in my life every single day has been the best day. So, Ava, if you're listening back on this, <laughs> mummy and daddy love you, and yeah. you being born was the best thing that ever happened to us. But Disney World was better. Oh, it was. Yeah. No, no, it was. <laughs> and you'd obviously been to Disney World before. My, my, yeah. I'll tell, I'll tell you what, like, uh, like, screw it. Like, that that's totally my thing as well. Yeah. Like because Yeah, I guess my, sorry, I'll get rid of number five. Ava, <laughs> sorry. My 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 favourite thing ever was in a pool, a swimming oh, pool God. in Lanzarote. You said to me, uh where you know, like obviously you hadn't travelled at all. No like kind of thing. You haven't really left the country yet, do you? Except Lanzarote, yeah. I'd yeah. only been to like three places. Exactly. And then and then you were like, where you know <laughs> where, What was where? your favourite holiday? Yeah. And I, and like and, and it was it was funny because you kind of I kind of felt like you wanted me to say somewhere like, Oh, this has been the best, you know, or, or whatever and I was like, No, no, Disney World. I think like, straight I, away, Disney World <laughs> Because we hadn't actually been anywhere together before that point, I was no. kinda kind of expecting somewhere more cultural. Yeah. I also was I think I was testing you as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Um to be like, it better not be anywhere with your ex. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> I was that. I was yeah, that yeah, yeah. person. Yeah. Um but yeah for me I remember you saying um now we're gonna do a whole episode about Disney World. Oh yeah. Um, I I'm remember ready. you saying because I was go. like let's go on holiday. We yeah. need a holiday. Yeah. And I was like I'll get a loan. Let's, let's save pick all anywhere. the money up. So I literally well no nah, I just just like apply for a loan got it immediately yeah, and I was yeah, like yeah. boom this is not advisable. Do not do this because it took well, a long time to pay it off. Yeah but if 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 you're able to well yeah if you can you- afford Yep, do it. Yeah, but this, yeah, see, this is the thing. It's like, I, I know I'm not responsible. Let me tell my story. I'm not responsible. Well, no, we've got to save it for another episode anyway. No! But, 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 but yeah, this is the thing, like, experience is everything. Yeah, and I On mean- your deathbed, are you going to go, oh my God, I'm, you know, the best experience I ever had was when I bought, you know- A Chanel handbag. Yeah. I mean, t- t- I know that, you see, the thing is, that actually generally might make someone really, really happy. Yeah. And, and if and if that's you, then, man, fair play, because I love shopping, so I totally get it. <laughs> yeah. But I've never really been that satisfied from anything I've ever bought, apart from a guitar, I don't think. Next to an experience. Yeah. yeah. So going back to my Disney World story. Anyway, I was, I <laughs> was not episode. I was not a fan of it. <laughs> no, but th- yeah. th- this is about the happiness side, because yeah, yeah, I just yeah. was not keen on the idea. Like, I had... I, although I loved, dismissive. I loved Disney films. Mm. I just thought, am I really going to be paying a to go to a, place? a theme park? Oh my god! Really, a theme park? And I think, well, I think the problem was when I looked at the price, I just went, whoa! Really, for a hot what for two weeks? Yeah, no. you're and dreaming, mate. That no, I started looking at the website, and I already got the butterfly. The I got the joy, the Disney it's joy. The happiest place on earth. And it really, really is. And I think... Why aren't they sponsoring us already? We are going to do... Oh, <laughs> can you imagine? I think I'd wet my pants. Because, anyway, but, because they know they don't need to. We're going to pay anyway. Honestly, I could talk about this for hours and hours and hours. But we will do an episode <laughs> on the truth about so, Walt okay, Disney World so, later on. Okay, right. So really, <laughs> if anyone just wants to cut to this point... So really... The only thing you need to know is go to Disney World to be happy and live there or maybe work there. Who knows? Yeah, and it that, cost that, you a lot, but do and it. And that's it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so that wraps up today's episode, I think. Um, so if you can give us a follow on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at Truths Pod, or you can visit our website truthabout.co.uk.
Be sure to subscribe to us on whatever you listen to your podcasts on, Apple, Podbean, etc. Search Truth About. Confusion field seed down. It's time to hear the truth about. Confusion field seed down. It's time.